Another day in this drama. Another day in this sitcom. <laughs> ah, what a relief it would be if when you die, that's when you actually wake up and you realize, holy smokes, this whole reality has just been one big dream or nightmare. We've been thinking about that lately. What if death is actually more life, the real life, and this is just the matrix? That would be such a relief, man. Because these clowns that were <laughs> that's ruling over us. Ah, how can these clowns be ruling over us, man? This has to be a dream. This can't be reality. Ah, let's go. This extraordinary creature is half blind, <laughs> half deaf, and this is just about as fast as it can move. You don't approve of our 81-year-old president? Well, no, he's a walking vegetable, and that has nothing to do with being a you know, Republican Democrat, but when you need help walking off a stage after you give a speech, it's probably time to call it quits. It is insane that somebody who is clearly impaired is the president of the United States. Do you think he's capable of being the president for another five years? He just told you he's a walking, talking vegetable. What kind of stupid question are you asking him? Are you senile too? Because you look kind of old. Capable of being the president for another five years? No, no, he's not capable of being president for another 20 seconds. But the issue <laughs> is there are people who are pulling the strings behind him. Clearly, they have the power and they don't want to give... I did not negotiate the debt ceiling with Biden. I could not negotiate the debt ceiling with Biden. What do you he mean? Could, Explain that. He talks from cards. Give me, I'll give you a couple of examples. If I wanted to talk work requirements, if I wanted to talk what we would cut, if I wanted to talk NEPA reform, if I want to talk... He's, if it's not on the card... We're not talking about it. If you're the president of the United States and Israel goes to war and you put a lid on it, what happens in the next couple months could send us into World War Three. This is the kind of person the Zios want, the Zio bankers. This is the kind of person they want in office. They do not want someone that can think for themselves. They want a natural puppet and they've got a natural puppet. Pretty much a corpse is leading us right now. Into planetary annihilation this is who the Zios want and if you're in America right now no, not even America, the entire western world the entire Caucasian western civilization you should realize this now you should have a long time ago but better late than never your country is not run by your votes the Zio bankers own your country they like <laughs> They like vampires, like life sucking leeches. Once they lash on to you, that's it. They're not letting go until they get all the resources, all the life out of you. It's like sucking an orange, suck the orange dry, and then you throw away the empty carcass. That's what these Zio bankers are. They like the Silver Surfer. You know the Silver Surfer from the Marvel uh, comics, from the Fantastic Four, that goes around planetary, from one planet to another planet, sucking out the resources. The one to finish annihilating this planet, he lets, lets, lets it off and then goes to another planet and does the same thing. And they got their fangs in the United States after they hoodwinked the government into signing over the printing of money to them. It's called the Federal Reserve. It's not, even, it's not federal nothing. It's only federal in name only. It's a private organization ran by the Zio bankers. A country that can't even print its own money. What does that make you? Slaves. They didn't, they didn't need no black people to be slaves anymore because they enslaved the entire country. And every debt, the 30 something trillion debts that America uh, owns right now, every, each citizen is responsible for the payment back of the debt. Each of you. All debt slaves to the Zio bankers. Mm. Why do you think that little mustache man wanted to get man of this country? Well, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to shut my shit down. A couple months could send us into World War Three, and the leader of the free world says there's a lid. I don't care what party you're in. If you can't speak, if you can't deliver in any given moment at the minute of president, 
then you and the family have to have that discussion that it's not the best time for you. He talked from cards. If it's not on the card, we're not talking about it. As usual, folks, they gave me a list of the people I'm going to call. See, Biden doesn't have the necessary mental and physical health to be president. On Sunday, the president said he just met with the French prime minister, who's been dead for 30 years. Right after I was elected, I went to a, what they call a G7 meeting, all the NATO leaders. And I sat down and I said, America's back. And Mitterrand from Germany, I mean, from France, looked at me and said, uh, said, you know, why, why how, how long are you back for? Biden sees dead people. But don't you dare ask Binder about it. How is President Biden ever going to convince the three quarters of voters who are worried about his... I kind of feel sorry for this Jean-Pierre. <laughs> I kind of feel sorry for her. There's, there's running interference with her cops. There is no way she's enjoying this job. She's just there for a paycheck. Oh, man. She's doing an impossible job. Physical and mental health. That he is okay. Even though in Las Vegas he told a story about recently talking to a French president who died in 1996. I'm not even going to go down that rabbit hole with you, what? sir. What is We're going to go. Hole? Go ahead. He said he talked to Mitterrand. Go ahead. In you saw the president in Vegas, in California. You've seen the president in South Carolina. You saw him in Mich Michigan. I'll just leave it there. Uh, saw him and still in peril. <laughs> there is some movement, and I don't want to. I don't want to. Can you see how far he's deteriorated? Just two years ago, compared that to now, see how far he's come down. His decline is so drastic. See the Tucker Carson Putin interview. See how eloquent Putin was. He gave Tucker Carson a, a history lesson. Go spring him back a thousand years. He went back as far as a thousand years to the Russian civilization to presently. He made he did an entire like, like like a filibuster. You think this dude right here can talk for twenty for twenty minutes? He reads off cue cards. Wow. Movement, and I don't want to. I don't want to. I'll maybe choose my words. There's some movement. There's been a response from the. Uh, the, the there's been a response from the opposition, but. Um, you see how bad he is and still they wouldn't impeach him they wouldn't take him out of there because Kamala is worse <laughs> if you take him out he's gonna put that lunatic in there she is even worse she is not senile but she is just off with the fairies <laughs> this goes to show you your country is not run by the voters run by Silicon Valley and Wall Street wake the F up but um it, it, yes, I'm sorry, We're from Hamas, but it seems to be uh, a little over the top. We're not sure where it is. There's a continuing negotiation right now. President Biden, something the special counsel said in his report is that one of the reasons you were not charged is because, in his description, you are a well-meaning elderly man. So the special counsel said that. And he got vindicated off those charges or whatever, based on the fact that he's elderly and senile. Senile. So they've openly admitted that the president of the United States is senile, but he's still the president. Isn't that, that if that if that's not grounds for impeachment, <laughs> I don't know what is. This is Next time you want to stand in line for hours to vote, just know the joke's on you. In his description, you are a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president and I put this country back on its feet. I don't need his recommendation. It's How totally bad out. is your memory and can you continue as president? My memory is so bad I let you speak. Initially... <laughs> President of Mexico, CC, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian oh, material to get in. I let you speak. Initially, the 
the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. Sisi. I talked to him. Mexico? Mexico? Where did that come from? I mean, that's the only thing anyone's going to remember from this. Wait, Sisi? He's talking about opening up the border. Isn't that Egypt and Palestine? What is he talking about? Mexico. Man, I, I'm done trying to understand this guy, man. I'm just... Uh,